Ciao from Cook and Travel with Cristina. Today I am in the city of Modena. I am honored to be here with two great licensed guides of Emilia Romagna, Naima and Riccardo. A landmark of the city of Modena is the amazing cathedral, which is one of the most beautiful examples of the Romanesque style that we have in Italy. It's been built in 1099 and is dedicated to the patron of the city, San Gemignano. important and popular symbol of the city because actually it's representing uh, the battle of uh, Zeppolino and uh, is representing the fight between the city of Modena and the city of Bologna. Now we are walking under the porticos of the San Carlo College in Modena. Now we are in front of the San Biagio Bakery, a pastisserie, a famous and historical pastisserie in Modena. And uh, you can watch some, uh, some of the traditional uh, cakes and sweets uh, produced here, like the, um, the torta di rose, the rosine, uh, is a very famous cake made only in this bakery. Or the, being in the carnival period, there are the first frappe, a fried uh, sweet uh, produced here in, uh, in Italy. And the traditional of Modena, the amaretto and the croccante from Fiumalbo. Welcome to San Biagio Pastry Shop. Uh, we are inside the Cathedral of the Cake here in Modena and I'm um, holding uh, actually the two most popular packaging of the Torta Barotti which is one of the most popular cake in Modena which is a co chocolate and coffee cake and it's been created by Eugenio Gollini and uh, it's called Barotti because it's dedicated to one of the most important architects during the 16th century, born in the small village of Vignola, which was um, Jacopo Barotti in Vignola. Uh, now we are here with Dino, the owner and the master baker of the San Biagio Pastry Shop. And uh, when uh, you have opened this uh, bakery? La pasticceria San Biagio è nata alla fine del, dell'Ottocento, primi anni del Novecento e che l'abbiamo noi in famiglia sono una settantina d'anni. Cerchiamo di portare avanti da una settantina d'anni appunto arrivare ad oggi questa tradizione qua come negozio storico di Modena dove ci sono un po' tutti i prodotti tipici modenesi e anche qualcosina al di fuori. Now we are in front of a street food shop uh, where you can uh, purchase something to eat. And very traditionally in Modena is a kind of bread called crescentina. And was uh, a very ancient tradition. Uh, and uh, the crescentina is a flat bread that was cooked inside a tigella. But the tigella is the mold, the clay mold used to, to cook the crescentina. After, after being cooked, you cut the bread in the middle and you fill with a cured meat, ham, cheese, jam, marmalade, whatever you want. Now we are inside Orma and uh, Mauro is uh, the owner of uh, this place. And, uh, a raw crescentina and uh, could be even bigger. This is one cook. Uh, not, uh, not filled with anything, uh, only naked. And uh, one question for Mauro, uh, which is the typical uh, request of uh, filling for a crescentina and which is the strange, the hottest uh, request? Um, la tradizionale è naturalmente con il 
Mauro tells us that the typical traditional crescentina is filled with the pesto that is bacon of lard with rosemary and garlic and grated parmigiano. The most requested are Romagna Mia with prosciutto, stracchino cheese and arugula, Beppe with pesto, prosciutto and arugula, Carlotta with pesto, buffalo cheese and prosciutto, and the most particular crescentine is the Norvegese, filled with salmon and salted butter. Viene richiesta maggiormente essendo salmone e eh, burro salato. Vieni qua! Welcome to the Mercato Albinelli, which is the heart of Modena, is the food market and is a place for locals. It's where locals normally have a meal during the lunch break. This is one very traditional and special dish of Modena. It's called calzagato. Uh, calzagato, who means literally kick the cat, the cat. The cat. And uh, is uh, a kind of polenta with uh, a sauce of bean mixed together. Uh, and um, after that, we make it rest for a little, for a day, and we cut in slices and we fry the slices. And this is a very traditional winter food. Emilia Romagna region is the region of the handmade pasta, the craft pasta mandatory made with the rolling pin these are the tortelloni tortelloni as i said handmade filled with ricotta cheese and spinach there's a difference between modena and bologna as in bologna they produce the tortelloni filled with ricotta cheese and parsley this is another traditional cured meat of Modena and in general of Emilia Romagna and it's called zampone, it's very similar to the one called even cotechino that is easier to be found around but the great difference is that the zampone is the, the final, the trotter of the pig filled with the cured meat and spices and salt mixed together and is used the real trotter, the hoof of the, of the pig. We are now in front of the shop La Vacchetta Grassa. Riccardo is asking to the owner why a leather workshop is still open in Modena. The owner says that the name of the shop, that literally means fat cow, explains the identity itself of the leather's workshop. In the same building, at first floor, they have the leather workroom and at the ground floor there is the shop. This combination makes it an, an Italian bottega where they work and sell at the same time. Their workshop is one of the few in Italy well structured also for tourists. They are located in the heart of Modena because it's one of the historical capital for the working of leather. There is a difference between the leather that they use, that is in Italian called cuoio, and the leather for the big factories. Cuoio is treated with natural products and is more resistant over time. They offer to tourists an experience made in Modena. They make together with tourists 
a leather tortellino, and in this kind of working there are all the actions that they do every day, so at the end people understand the importance of handmade product. Yeah. Need a present from Modena, something really typical. This is uh, a very beautiful and special memory from this beautiful city. We are in the shop of the consortium. It's a, it's a special shop because it's unique in the world. Hello, uh, it's right, Ricardo. So this is the only place actually where you can find a very wide range of products. They come from 20 different manufacturers and they're all handmade and natural, made only with grape juice cooked. Aged more than 12 years or more than 25 years. As you can see, we have many bottles. This is our balsamic family, as we call it and uh, they are really great products, top quality, when talking about balsamic vinegar, the traditional obviously, PDO certified, therefore coming in these tiny bottles designed by Giugiaro, a very famous car designer. Uh, and if you want to come and have a taste, we will be happy to help you. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, aged more than 25 years, and you should smell, then taste. Okay. La Consorteria, extra old, meaning more than 25 years. This is great, great. with strawberries, ice cream, panna cotta, and many other things. Parmigiano Reggiano. Last but not least, another beautiful place in Modena is the Ducal Palace, right here. Ducal Palace has been built in the first uh, half of the 17th century and has been raised because the Ducal family from Ferrara moved here and stayed here until the end of the 19th century. In Italy the coffee is very important and in each city there are little coffee toaster, places where the coffee is toasted directly by the owner. In Modena we have the Messicana, a little uh, roasting factory that uh, since a few years ago was were roasted the coffee inside the shop. Now of course the production is outside the historical center but still have the uh, selling point here in the main street of Modena. As we are in Modena, as we are in the region Emilia Romagna, you can't absolutely end the big meal, the big lunch, without a craft, fresh Italian gelato. We are in front of the gelateria, which is called Bloom, and actually is one of the most important, one of the best gelateria in the whole country, as the Gambero Rosso said. This is not a factory production, this is a craft gelato made with hand. Thank you very much for watching the video and thank you to Naima. Thank you. Thank you to Ricardo. Thank you. And Do not forget uh, to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Bye bye.